single point watering system is very simple. You simply remove the original battery caps and discard them, set them off to the side, install your battery watering system based on the instructions that come from the manufacturer, and then you have all the cells connected together. In this particular case, we've got 24 cells connected to one fill coupler. Now, as opposed to looking inside of each one of these cells and adding water to the proper level, you simply install this watering system and all you have to do is attempt to give it water. What we'll do, in the case of a hand pump, this is the most cost effective way. In a recreational vehicle, this is neat because you can stow it away easily. If you have a golf car, you can use a gravity tank similar to this. This is a BWT gravity tank. You fill it with distilled water, you set it on top of the roof of the golf car, and you go forward that way. But with both of these, what you basically do, let me start with the, with the hand pump. You'll take a gallon of distilled water that you buy in a grocery store, take and install the filter side, the open end, down in the distilled water, pull the dust cap off, and connect it, and start squeezing. Now you'll see water go up through the hose, and if the batteries need water, it's just like an old uh, marine setup in an old motorboat where you had a fuel tank and a bulb. It's the same thing. You start squeezing the bulb slowly, and if you can squeeze it easily, it's taking water. As, it, as each of these cells fill, the, the floats will come up and will shut off each valve, and eventually this will be very stiff, and at that point, you disconnect it. You never leave this system connected. In, this, in the instance of a gravity tank, you'll have this on the roof, you connect it, and if it needs water, you'll see this, this little indicator flowing, just like a propeller. As long as this is moving, it's taking water. When it stops moving, disconnect it. Again, never leave it connected because siphoning can occur and it can overfill the batteries. But I'm telling you from experience, my eight years installing and selling and servicing these systems, if the customer does this, it's not a problem, but I can count on less than one hand the number of times I've had somebody overfill one of these. But it can happen if you leave it connected. Once you've attached this system, and once you've hooked up and watered, you put your dust cap back on and the job is done. What previously took 45 minutes to an hour is now down to as much as 45 seconds to a minute. Customers love this product. It's plain and simple. There's been years now when the flooded acid battery, we just didn't talk about watering because we didn't want to. But the fact is, flooded lead acid batteries are the most cost effective and the most efficient, and you can't fool Mother Nature, as I've said before. So watering is integral. But using a single point watering system brings this technology into the 21st century. But when you do this, you give the batteries a chance to live their full life. It makes a huge difference in the reliability and long-term cycle life in flooded lead acid batteries.